Hello everybody and welcome back to the farm. It's been a tough fortnight. I just couldn't believe it when I went to the care home and was told that Dennis has passed away and we knew nothing about it. He didn't say anything. So yeah, it's been tough to come to terms with. He will be remembered. He was a fantastic person. Uh, despite our early disagreements, uh, it's, it's just it just turned into a, a great friendship. Blimey, it did. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been tough to vlog, so that's why it's been two weeks since the previous one. Uh, we had Dennis's funeral, and now we can we can continue, or at least attempt to continue with the farm work. Now I've just come over to the chicken enclosure here. I've just picked up a mower, and we're going to attempt to mow the grass in here. I don't know how easy it's going to be. I don't have anywhere to put the chickens, so that's obviously going to make it a bit more tricky. We're just going to have to sort of mow round them, but they'll probably move when they hear the mower. And we might have got a few eggs, a few more eggs. I really want to get some more chickens, even today. I've got some news regarding the planning application, so that's good. It is good news. Um, and yeah, I've, I don't know anything about... Dennis's will. We don't know who the beneficiaries are or anything, so we would just sort of put that out of our mind for now. Um, but um, yeah, I, I don't know who he gave his money to. He had loads of money. Maybe he gave it to John. We just don't know. Speaking of John, he was at the funeral and I did give the tractor back to him, the 135, which he thought was strange. He thought it was very strange that I was giving back the tractor because he knew how much I liked it. So maybe it really was genuine. I just don't know. Anyway, let's get this mower out of here. It's pretty heavy. Oh, right. Um, so yeah, let's mow. Now even this is actually quite big. It's only just gonna fit through. I did think about using the John Deere, but then when I looked at the gap again, I knew there was no chance of using it. Now we probably don't need to bag this, but I will do anyway, since the bag is on and we don't have a mulching kit. And the chickens probably would like to scratch around in the grass, it's just with it being so long, I don't think they're going to appreciate it too much. As for the grass which we are bagging up, we'll just dump it in the hedgerow or something. So that is the first job of today. Thing is, it's autumn now. So we're going to be focusing on the new farm. As I said, I have good news. The planning application for the cow farm has been approved. In fact, that's the only good news over the past few weeks. So we can start constructing it. And we're going to get a storage shed. That is the priority. Then we can get the bales in storage and the other feed products. Hello chickens. As it turns out, the chickens are in no way scared of a mower.
So that's what the hens look like. We knew they were in here, but we just couldn't see them. So, yeah, as you can see, plenty of space. We can get more. I believe if we were to get a cockerel, <laughs> the standard procedure is for them to breed. Um, but I think we'll, we'll just buy some. Let's just get that little bit there. And as it turns out, that is one bag load. So we could even take it over to the sheep. We could feed it to the sheep. It just means it's going to be extra heavy to lift up into here. And it saves dumping it in the hedgerow. So there we go. Our hens. Yeah, let's grow the chicken farm. Um, but we're just going to stay on this particular patch of land. We're not going to go anywhere else. I think the best thing to do is to uh, empty the mower. And then go and pick up some more hens. They're not inexpensive. I think they're about £5 each. Anyway, let's just turn the engine off. Lift it up. It is heavy. Oh, very heavy. And we'll head off. The crops are looking good. I did just have a quick glimpse of them yesterday. But the field which is... Well, the bigger field. I did see a couple of patches of uh, areas which haven't germinated very well. Or, or maybe they just didn't do very well after they got fertilised. We'll have a closer look, but yeah, it's not quite as healthy as it, as it was looking before. It was looking really good in the previous vlog. Just pull in here. So, yeah, I did notice a patch just up there. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Looks weird. And as for the sheep, I don't know if we're going to be expanding the sheep farm. I quite like just having the sheep on this piece of pasture land in front of the house. Or behind the house. Okay. We may have to scoop it up later. So we'll put it in the trough when there's more space. There we go. So, where to keep the mower? I don't really know the best place. I think here would be unwise. So, we'll, um, we'll just tuck it. Actually, I know a good place. Round the back. Finally, we have a good use for this area. After all this time, something which actually fits in here. It'd be nice to have like a big door here. We could keep more stuff in here then. Oh nice, it's raining. It's actually been really wet the past 24 hours. It was raining all night. Oh, come on. No, I got stuck. Um, oh yeah, and you know, I was trying to find a name for my cat. Catwin, forget that, Dennis. We shall have Dennis. Oh, I'm actually stuck in here. There we go. Four wheel drive is useful. There's Dogwin. Okay. So we'll park there. Okay, so we're just placing the order for the chickens. They get delivered. So, as we've always had white leghorns before we will get more white leghorns. We only have 20, so if we just boost that number to something really big, um, then yeah, I think we could be really turning a good profit. Now I've calculated that this is the maximum amount of hens that are gonna fit comfortably in our enclosure. So it's another 158 pounds worth, five pounds each. So we obviously have to pay transportation as well. Right, I'm going to take this tractor up there to the new field. And actually, I did say no field work today, but that might be incorrect. We may well start ploughing if it's not too wet. Uh, the land over there is fairly well drained. And it would also be good to try and clear the gateway, because that is going to be our entrance, the main entrance to the cow farm. So, yeah, because uh, what I want to do it sort of have the very low section of the field as the farm and then the next step up going up towards the track as an arable field and then the top piece as a grass field because we just don't need all the lower section for the farm right so yeah as you can see it's not been uh, open for some time but I don't think it would be too hard to cut that back I have got some uh, 
Some garden shears. If I just park in here. Let the traffic pass. And yeah, it's actually not too thick. I'll just get this done and then we'll try and open it. Uh, right. I'll just pile it all up there. It's all cut away from the gate. And it actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's not rotten. Well, it could do with a bit of paint, but it's no worse than my other farm gate. So let's see if it opens. Nice. Like a brand new one. Okay, so yeah, we're going to put a track through here between this vlog and the next one. I've already got the uh, the contractors booked to build uh, the buildings for the new farm. But I'm thinking probably a storage shed about here. The only problem is it, it sort of sinks away a bit the land. So we'd have to either build it up or put a shed here. But somewhere in this area. And then, well, the plans for the farm were over this site because of the evidence that we found there's already been a farm here so the main cow farm is going to be here and then it just sort of leaves all of this so we want to have a bit of a margin but I think probably in line with what looks to be a silo an old silo up to the track is going to be an arable field we also have the 390T tractor here ready it's actually going to be living here now it might be taken back to the other farm but it's going to live pretty much here every day on a daily basis um, so yeah let's um, well <laughs> I was gonna say let's go and get the plow but first of all we need to buy it or rent it and then we have to wait for that blue sky to turn up but it's almost here I'm gonna have an early lunch and book in a plow for rental and then hopefully this afternoon is going to be brighter, the forecast is looking better, although there is going to be some rain returning around 6pm. Look at dog wind just sat in the rain. <laughs> oh dear. And yeah, I think really if we get it done in the window between sort of 3 and 5, we should be okay. But this looks like it's the end of it. Right, well, it is now almost quarter to 3. I've just picked up the plough. It's quite a big one. They said if it doesn't work on this tractor, I can go back and get a five furrow. But this one is supposed to work on this one, so we should have no issues at all. Um, and I've also had a text message to say that my hens have been delivered. They've dropped them off into here. So we now have 50. 50 in total. It's looking good. They have plenty of food. So we'll just leave them to it. They can continue doing their chickeny things. Uh, which I think is pretty much to scratch around, find grubs eat and sleep. Oh, and lay eggs. Which is the most important thing. Um, right, so, well probably not to them, but to us. Let's go and start marking out the field boundary and then we'll get it all done. And then, um, yeah, we'll have our new arable field. And it's actually really good that we have got this uh, nice clearing in the skies because it's uh, probably the last opportunity to create the field this side of winter Look, we're almost into winter now it's very early November so this would be a good test to see if we can get fairly big machines through this gateway because we're going to be having tractors and trailers with bales uh, potentially lorries quite a few things what we have here is fairly long. We do need to mow the grass, but yeah, there's going to be gravel put down and everything. Okay, so yeah, probably not something quite as long as this. But on occasions like this, we can use the other entrance. Let's just see if we can do it. Don't want to break anything. Yeah, it's close. We pretty much can do it. We're in. But yeah, I think probably in the future we won't use this particular gateway for this machine. Yeah, that's big. <laughs> that's very big. So let's see how we do. Just to begin with, we're just marking out. 
No issues at all with power. It's a very powerful tractor. This is working at 4 metres. And this field is probably going to be a fairly unusual shape. It won't be perfectly square or perfectly rectangular. But that really doesn't matter. Once it's marked out, then I don't need to be quite as careful. Because then we, we already know where the boundaries are. But I still need to do it fairly well. So we'll keep a grass margin. I think that's probably a, about the right width. You can see where we mowed up to before. And we're going up to the track, which is just over here. I have to leave the track because that's the access for the neighbouring field. I don't own that piece of land. And I don't think it will go down terribly well if I block their access. In fact, I'll just get a legal issue because, uh, yeah, I've already seen the deeds to the land here and it says that I have to give them access to all the time. Anyway, that's enough of me chuntering on, let's do the field. Well, as you can see, it is going well, despite the rain, which has started much earlier than forecasted, but it doesn't really matter too much because it's still doing a good job. We're not really slipping, because this field is fairly well drained, as I said before. My other fields, like next to the house, they are like a swamp. <laughs> Whenever it rains, it's just a, a mud bath. As you saw, I drove through that little patch of um, mud, that's supposed to be soil where I grow the potatoes, and I just sank. So I just need to finish off here. I need to go across the bottom and across the top, and then it will be finished. But this plough and this tractor has done a really good job. Very impressed by it. The tractor especially. I think it is a big plough for this tractor. But there we go, we have a new field. We may eventually turn the top piece of the field into a, an arable field as well, but at the moment we're just not going to, since I don't know exactly how much food we actually require for the cows, and I don't know how many cows we're going to have. Obviously the more cows we have, the more feed we need. Yep, very happy with that. It's looking good. Just got a few little bits of grass left. And finally the top section. It's just where we were turning. You just naturally miss a bit. But I'm going to get this plough returned to the store. I think £200 well spent. And next year, <laughs> we're going to be breaking the soil down further and putting a crop in. I say next year because this year is almost over. It's 
temperature. It's going to be too cold and too wet to do anything else in here. Okay, there we go. So as I said, I'm going to head back to the store. Next time I vlog in this field, there will probably be a cow farm down the bottom there. The contractors are coming in very soon to do it. So um, yeah, a very exciting future to come. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, and see you again soon. Bye for now.